All right, Greg, well, thanks for joining us on the first 21 questions. Cheers, Are you ready mate. For this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's do it. Um, first of all, what was your earliest memory of football as a child? Um, I think I remember my dad taking me to a West Ham game and I remember being in the stands. I can't remember where it was because I was just so young. Um, but I remember we scored early and uh, I just remember bursting out crying and my dad was fuming. Um, so I think we had to leave the game early. But yeah, that's my first actual memory of going to watch a game. Well, that, I think that answers my second question. Who was your team? Yeah, West Ham. Didn't have a choice. A big, big family of West Ham fans. So yeah, I didn't really have much of a choice in that. Who was your favourite player during that time? Uh, you had Decanio, Joe Cole. So yeah, some, some of them boys are really good to watch. Um, do you have or did you have a nickname? Uh, not really, like at football I do now, the boys call me Greggy or Skip or anything, really. old man, I get that, a few of the boys call me old man, yeah, but that's, that's it really. Not the most adventurous thing. No. Um, okay, moving away from football now, uh, what's your classic karaoke tune? <sighs> you, nobody really wants to hear me on the mic, I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't know, I'd probably go for Sweet Caroline, I suppose. Oh, it's yeah. a bit cheesy, but everyone knows it yeah. and joins in, Fair so words. yeah. Um, what's your favourite ever film? Um, super bad. I think like it's just a funny film, so yeah, I can just chuck it on any time and laugh. Yeah. Okay, what's the last thing that you bought? Um, last thing you paid money for? <laughs> I'm quite conscious about my teeth, so I've got this flo right. a flosser thing, uh, electric flosser. Yeah, that was the last thing I bought. Um, okay, here's a tough one. Which three people throughout history would you choose to have dinner with? Yeah, that's tough. Uh, well, I mean, I'll, more current, I'd probably go Steve Jobs. Yeah. He's quite an interesting person. Um, Alan Sugar. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're not too historical but businessy yeah business yeah business. just how they've started their businesses and things like that um you got the wild card for the third then i'd probably go more football base for the the last one i don't know maybe sir alex ferguson nice yeah, yeah okay. just pick his brain their brain yeah. yeah okay um back to football now who's the best player you've ever played with oh with <sighs> that's tough I'll go in Cambridge. I, I liked playing with Luke Berry. Yeah. Um, I thought he was very, very good. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I, that came, I'd say in Cambridge, definitely. I'd say Luke Berry, probably. Okay, and away from Cambridge, have you got anyone else that comes to mind? Um, there was a lad called Andre Bucard. Oh, yeah. And I think a few people around, like, the League Two teams would know him, but he was unbelievable on the ball. Someone for, players, someone for fans to look up on Wikipedia. Uh, yeah, like he doesn't play anymore, but he could control the ball with the bottom of his foot under any conditions. And he was just, yeah, he was brilliant. Okay. Um, how has Cambridge United changed from when you first joined the club to how it is now? <sighs> so much. Uh, I mean, the training ground, for example, none of the buildings were there, the gyms and stuff like that. Um, in the last few years, just the club's been so much more together now than it was. Um, and I feel like the, the fan base has got better since I've been here. When I first signed, there wasn't as many people coming on the weekend and things like that, but now we're getting good attendances. So um, quite a lot's changed. And what was your favorite ever season for the club? Or is that an easy one? Last year. Yeah, I, I, you can't top last year. For me personally, I played in every game. I was the captain and uh, yeah, that's probably my proudest moment being here, definitely. Okay, and moving from playing every game to this season, how yeah. tough has the past few, last few months been and how are you feeling and are you almost ready to get back onto the pitch? It's been tough, really, really tough. To go from playing every week and being one of the regular players and things like that and then to have it kind of snatched away from you was tough. and. Being at home at my own, I, mean, I, I was at home for two months and I couldn't move. So um, that, it was really tough, but the lads and the club supported me so well. Um, and I've gradually been making positive steps and obviously I've been on the bench a few times. I played today in a development game, so I'm getting there slowly. Um, yeah, still got a little bit more to do. Good to hear Okay, what's the first thing that you do when you get back from training? Uh, put my slippers on and probably moan to my missus that my legs are killing me um, and have a coffee. <laughs> What's your favourite alcoholic drink? Uh, day session, I'll have a beer. Um, if we're going out-out, 
vodka soda and lime. <laughs> that brings me on nicely to my next question. So, if you're going out, out, what's the route in Cambridge? I haven't been out too many times in Cambridge. Um, been in revs a few times. I don't really know too many spots. We went out at the end of the season, last season, to celebrate with the boys and went into the Varsity Bar. Oh yeah. Um, that's quite nice. So yeah, I'll probably go there. Okay. Um, moving on to food. Can you cook? And if so, what's your best dish to Russell? I can cook. Um, I like a, a veggie lasagna. Oh, so yeah. I can, yeah, I can pull that out. But we do Hello Fresh stuff, so it's easier. You are a vegetarian, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I don't, um, it's probably like four or five years ago, I just stopped eating meat and see how I feel and feel, felt better for it. So yeah, I just kind of stuck with it. Good stuff. Um, okay, who was your teenage crush? <laughs> uh, Cheryl Cole? Yeah. Yeah, she's not the worst to look at, is she? <laughs> I think that's a classic for people of our era, that is. Yeah, yeah, I think she weren't the best. Oh, weren't the worst, sorry. Um, okay, now, who's the worst player in the current squad to get stuck on a desert <laughs> island with? Uh, James Brophy. Why is that? Because he won't shut up. He's, he's constantly on the move, winding people up. See, I think he'd do my head in if we were stuck on a beach. Okay, and now who would the best be? I'm probably closer to Liam, O'Neill and Dunks, maybe Dimmy. So yeah, one, of, one of them. Yeah. Time you've all been at the club. Yeah, so yeah, probably one of them three. Um, okay, coming towards the end now. What's one thing that fans might not know about you that you're willing to share? Um, well, I was a mascot for West Ham mm -hmm. when I was 11, I think. So yeah, I don't know, not many people would know that, but yeah, I was, I was a mascot for West Ham, loved I it. I for some big secret. No, I don't really have a big secret, <laughs> no, yeah. But that's probably it, really, yeah. Not many, not many people know that. Okay, last question now. Who has had the greatest influence in your life? Well, apart from my parents, obviously, raised me the right way and kind of taught me to work hard and, and be ambitious and things like that but there was a yard there was a, a football coach when I was first starting my career like 14 uh, his name was Jeff Harrop and I think without him seeing me and pushing me and kind of helping me along the way I don't think I'd be here now so um, yeah he was a, he was massive when I was younger to try and get me to become a professional footballer so probably him all right well thanks very much for joining thank you mate questions brilliant